my name is Richard Manning. I'm chair of the board of the Institute of Development Studies. Uh, we were challenged this morning by, I think it was Brenda Killen, who said that aid agencies are far too complacent and what would shake them out of their complacency. And Andrew Rogerson suggested that there were a number of important disruptive factors that were going to precisely do this. So it's on after lunch and it's time for disruption. Because <laughs> here are spokespeople who will talk about some of the potentially disruptive um, new entrants on the scene. And we have a, huge, a hugely um, impressive panel to deal with this in the shape of Andrew Steer, Homi Karras, who is very uh, helpfully joining us uh, <coughs> online from Brookings, uh, Chris West and Judith Randall. And I'll introduce them in a minute. The, um, the aim of this session, and I'll we'll try and do this, is to, I've said this to the speakers, if we can keep each of the presentations to around the 10 minute mark, I'd like to give us more time than we managed this morning for interaction with this extremely impressive audience and with our online audience. And I've already got <coughs> four questions from online <laughs> listeners, even before anybody has opened their mouth. <laughs> um, so let's go straight into it. Our first speaker will be Andrew Steer, who's very recently become president of the World Resources Institute. Andrew's had a hugely impressive career. He was formerly the uh, World Bank Special Envoy for Climate Change. Before that, he was Director General at DFID for three years. He's been the World Bank Country Director in Vietnam and Indonesia, uh, Director of the World Bank's Environment Department, and as long ago as 1992, he was the Chief Author of the 1992 World Development Report on Environment and Development. When I add to that that he woke up this morning in Dubai, <laughs> you'll realize uh, how privileged we are to have you. <laughs> Andrew. 